Hey guys, in this video we're going to show you how to take our default mannequin here and replace it with a new skeletal mesh that we get from the Epic Games Infinity Blade series. So once you go to the marketplace and download that and add it to your project, you should see this folder here. If we expand this out, we can see characters, complete characters, and we can switch uh, our mannequin to any one of these characters. Of course, you can get other ones either on the internet or through the marketplace, but we're just going to start off with these. And so the one that we're going to do is the cardboard guy. If we double click on him, we can see that this is what he's going to look like. And to get started, we need to retarget his skeletal mesh uh, to our mannequin's uh, skeletal mesh. So click on skeleton up in the top right hand corner when that mesh is open and you'll see that this gets swapped out with another uh, one of our characters but don't worry about that we're gonna set up the rig for this guy here and just drop it down and select humanoid rig and we can do show advanced to show more of these bones and then finally auto mapping and that should uh, swap out and, and auto map those bones to our humanoid rig Next thing we're going to do is now add a new retarget source. And this is going to ask us which uh, skeletal mesh do we want to add to that retarget source. We want to use the cardboard guy in this case. And so then that will create a new retarget source there. Uh, make sure you go ahead and save this one. And I'm just going to go ahead and save this one as well, even though I don't think it was changed. Okay, so now that we've set up our rig for our cardboard, we now have to map it to our mannequin rig. And we do the same process over on our mannequin. So if you go to our mannequin folder under character and then um, not materials, but mesh, we have the same skeletal mesh in there with a couple uh, other assets, including the skeleton. So we're gonna go ahead and open up that skeleton for our mannequin. And we're gonna do the same exact thing as I said because we want to be able to set up this rig to map to our other rig. So we're going to uh, select humanoid, hit auto mapping, and that should change some of our bones there. Uh, you can do a show advance if you want to, but that's the most important thing is just the auto mapping and the humanoid rig. And then again, we're going to set up a new target for this guy, which is going to be the mannequin so that we have a source and a destination. So this will be the source that we want to map from the destination will be our cardboard guy. All right, so the most important thing again is to save that, close our mannequin um, skeletal mesh there, and we're ready to start the retargeting. For the retargeting, we have to go into our, um, uh, let's see, our third person, uh, no, I'm sorry, the mannequin for its animations, because we have to set up our animation blueprint to define our cardboard guy is going to walk and, and that sort of thing. That's all set up here, but this blueprint is pointing to our mannequin and not our cardboard. So if you right click on the third person AnimBP, which again is in mannequin animations folder, this, uh, this window that pops up, it says retarget Anim blueprints. That's what we wanna do. And then we're going to duplicate this file um, called Anim Blueprints and Retarget. And so again, it's just going to duplicate all the code for our walking, our jumping and whatnot, and then retarget uh, the skeletal mesh to our cardboard skeletal mesh using the same exact uh, skeleton. Okay, so you should see a um, this retarget here. And once we add that, we have our skeletal, uh, or excuse me, our mannequin on the left-hand side, and then our new mesh. Don't worry if it's not the character that you see, this is just the default one that they have. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on retarget down here. And that will create a whole bunch of new files for us, including the animations for our new skeletal mesh. First thing I'm going to do is rename this, right click on it, rename. Um, and this will just be called, instead of third person anim blueprint, we're going to call it cardboard and a blueprint and then normally I'd probably put that into a folder just to organize it but now that we're ready to now that we have the assets including the animation blueprint and the animations for our cardboard character we can now apply it and swap all out our mannequin for it uh, the easiest way to edit this blue guy's blueprint is click on them 
and then go over here to the source window and say edit third party character blueprint and that'll open it up of course you can find it in the the context explorer and double click on it uh, if we go back to our blueprint you can see that uh, we do have um, let's see this guy should set up um, if you click on it you should see this on the side here uh, if you don't if you see the normal mannequin that's fine um, and I'm going to make sure that we swap out the skeletal mesh for the cardboard which we've done but once you do that it will uh, reset our animation class here so when you click on this one if you did not rename it you'll probably see two third person anim BPs the first one will not work so select the, the second one but we named ours cardboard anim BP and if I select that you should now see the guy animating so make sure you go ahead and save and compile and let's see um, uh, we changed it in the blueprint but this is an instance of that blueprint that's custom and so um, you might you might see this update but I, I think I changed it so if you don't just go into the instance and we'll do this all over again so select our cardboard skeletal mesh here and then if we just hit play on this you'll see this guy just doesn't move because we didn't set up the animation blueprint yet so again make sure animation class is set to whatever you named it cardboard animation and now he's he's not standing in the a pose anymore so we know that this should work and now we have our cardboard character with all the animations that we had in our third person view all right, so hopefully you guys can use that in your own projects and let me know how it goes and I'll see you next time. Thanks.